All right, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna be finally installing the wicker bill on the Camaro. Finally got it, finally bought it, finally pulled the trigger and said, let's get it. Why did I buy it? I really don't remember why I bought it. I really don't remember why. But it was time, finally time to start getting this exterior, exterior, exterior looking the way I wanted to. Um, probably not gonna do another ex cosmetic mod for a while, just cause I'm like strictly performance based right now and like doing like suspension, all that other stuff. Like I got something on the way that I've been hinting, hinting at for maybe a few months now. And you guys probably will see it in the, one of the upcoming videos. I'm not sure when I'm gonna put this video out. But uh, hopefully everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, hopefully everyone had a wonderful week. But yeah. So on the Camaro, if you guys remember the video where I installed the um, the stealth spoiler. Well, in today's video, I have the worker build that goes on the stealth. Well, it doesn't go on the stealth, stealth spoiler, but it still fits up to it. Uh, so I got it from ZL1 add-ons. And I know the stealth spoiler um, worker build that's specifically made for the stealth spoiler is like way too small. I don't like it. I saw it in person. I'm like, yeah, glad I saw it in person before I bought it. Uh, the one I have my eyes on or had my eyes on was the, um, I think it was the Anvil. I think it's called the Anvil uh, spoiler worker build. And so I went with that one. Um, hopefully, hopefully it mocks up and, you know, works perfectly fine. I've seen people buy it for other cars that it's not even for just, you know, just to have it uh, on their car. So hopefully it works out for the uh, Camaro. It should work out. Hopefully, fingers crossed. If it doesn't, I'm gonna make it work. Just saying. But yeah, let's um, package it. Let's mock it up to the car. Let's put some painters tape and you know let's get it going. Got to drill into the spoiler. Don't really care because the spoiler is only a hundred dollars. So don't really care. It's not like drilling into my drop. So yeah, let's get it going. Alrighty, guys. So here it is, the Anvil Worker Bill. Now, I wanted this one because it's a lot bigger than the um, uh, the stealth one. The stealth one was literally like maybe that big right there compared to the anvil. Literally, not even kidding. It was like that big. No joke. I swear to God. Saw it on a car at a car meet and I'm like, that was a waste of money. <laughs> it was literally could have just been better off without it. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to mock this up. Try to figure out how I'm going to do this. Hopefully I do it properly. Hopefully I can find some painter's tape because I lost my other tool kit that had all my good stuff in there. Uh, not sure if it got taken out of my car or whatnot because I did leave my car door open one night by accident. Literally left the door wide open. So, yeah. Dealing with that. So, yeah. Let's get this going. So nice. Yeah. And this package right here, this is the, uh, the rivet tool. Uh, I was going to just go to the store and buy one, but made it just easier. or It was just easier just to get it from them. Uh, they were all the same price. They were, you know, it's usually you know companies try to you know charge you more for certain things like add-ons or whatnot, whatnot. But it was literally either the same price or it was more at different stores. So I was like, I eh, might as well just get it. So I know I have the proper tools and have the proper fittings because I think this one is like I forgot it was like three eighths or whatnot. What I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not a rivet tool guy, so I don't really know what I'm talking about. So I'm just gonna shut up. And yeah. Alrighty, so I got you guys on a GoPro just so I can get a better angle because the camera right behind me is set up to just see the car and if i'm in the way it won't be able to see anything why am i trying to be like careful with this this is a freaking tool in the bag <laughs> literally it's a tool that i'm probably going to even just use once and then never use again sadly don't scratch the paint all right so i'm going to get this and mock it up really quick and then these are the Oh, here's the tools right here. And this is the rivet gun. Yep, let me open all this up so I can just have it ready for when I need it. Probably gonna need two hands, so I'm probably, probably gonna have to call my brother out here in a second. I'm more excited about the dang tool than I am about the worker bill. <laughs> I don't know, I just love tools. Um, tools are my thing. Every day is Christmas when you buy new tools. If I can get this sucker open. So yeah, this is the thing I was talking about right here, the attachment, the, uh, I think it was one-fourth attachment. Alrighty, so I have the holes marked for where they're going to go. Um, I watched a few, a few videos because, one, it doesn't tell me how to use that thing, and two, I, I, I kind of figured it out now, but, um, 
it doesn't it doesn't tell you what drill bits to use whatnot and so i had to you know watch a video with two and so i'm going to start going on this side and i'm going to work my way around and so i pretty much lined up the middle as best as i could possible and i stretched it out from this side on and i marked the holes i marked the holes on this side too just to get a general direction but uh in a video the guy he um he started with this side and he stretched it around because if you just you know put it up to each side and you know you try to put it up there's going to be like a gap right here or a gap right here depending on which side is not stretched out so we're going to start with this side and we're going to get it going so i'm not sure which drill bit to stop at so i'm just going to you know keep going until the rivet fit, fits in snug very snugly take a rib nut out and just try to like you know see which one it's closest to and whichever one is close to I'm gonna back it down a step and I'm gonna go from there because it's supposed to fit in easily yeah it's supposed to fit in easily and then like the rib nut gun backs it in At the point of no return, boys. All right, now we just get the three eighths. This may be too big. I may need to step it back a little bit. And that is in there, boys. That was actually really a lot more simpler to do than I thought it was going to be, because like that's an intimidating tool. Um, two that took a lot of freaking muscle. I'm weak as hell and it took a lot of muscle to do so I'm kind of mad Oh, yeah, that's gonna line up perfectly Alrighty, so let me screw one screw in so it can hold this side in This is a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be initially. Like, I thought it was going to be not easy, but a little bit more simpler than this. Lost a drill bit. Oh, here we go. Yeah, but I thought it was going to be a little bit more simpler than this. But so far, it's not too bad. Now we're on to the last one. We're on to the last one, boys. This took forever. This honestly took a lot longer than I expected it to take. Alrighty, so we finished installing the rivets or rev nuts on the car. These are all of them right here. That took so long and I realized the camera wasn't recording but luckily I had the GoPro on so you guys are gonna get some GoPro footage. Sorry about that. Cause the GoPro footage is not the best. <laughs> but yeah, got that all on. Let me unpackage these little um, the um, worker bill itself and I'm going to show you guys that all right so this is the initial piece right here I actually told you that if this is supposed to go first or the bottom part is supposed to go first or the top part is supposed to go first so I'm going to check I'm assuming that the uh, the worker bill part or like the the clear part itself is supposed to go last just because it makes sense but I just want to make sure before I install it yes it sure does all right so I'm going to take this off right here. Alrighty. Take that paper off. Show me the goods. And I'm glad I didn't like scratch it when I was, oops, somebody did scratch it with a box cutter. Alright, that's whatever. Alrighty, so I'm gonna get the washers for this and put them in. I'm gonna get the show on the road. Actually, I'm gonna take this part off too, just so I have this all ready. Boys, I've been waiting for this for a long time. This looks clear, and I swear I said tinted. Oh, no, it's tinted. Okay, I can see it. It's just a white backing.
I totally could have used that for my painter's tape, but oh well. Because that's where it's like, this is like the first time I, here we go, here, this is what it looks like. Well, it still has the other backing on there. Let me just get that off real quick and then show you guys what this part looks like too. Alrighty, here we go. Right here. So this is what I wanted. I wanted the dark tint for it. And we got it. And we got the mother rolling up right now. Let's not tell her how much this thing costs. Alright guys, so here is the finished product. Oh my goodness, that looks great, man. Money well spent on this. This looks amazing. So literally why I didn't want to get the other one. So this takes a it it took a little finagling to get on because you know it's not meant for the spoiler. The one that's made for the spoiler is literally like goes from here. Literally it's the size of this thing right here. Literally the size of this right here. And it's smaller, it's like uh, about right here and it's small as heck it makes no sense why it's that small but uh yeah i did a little finagling it worked it mocked up perfectly the gap is pretty much non-existent if if there is one it's uniform all the way around it looks good i love it oh my goodness and i'm going to put something right here literally i'm going to put something right here if you can guess then <laughs> you probably can already guess cough cough <laughs> something right there uh but yeah i'm gonna i need to clean my car up a little bit take some pictures of it but yeah this is the final product i'm so happy it looks great money well spent on this man but all right guys if you guys enjoyed the video sorry that it was more of a cinematic -y, not much talking going on in it but it, it took a lot of time and finagling it took me about an hour or so which it shouldn't have taken taken that long honestly it should have took like 30 minutes at most but i love the way it looks i can see it out the window now i can see something out of the back window which is great it's just like the mustang i, I look at the rear view mirror the mustang i see freaking half of it is like cut off by a spoiler which is funny but uh yeah Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. We have some great stuff coming for this car. I'm excited. Just waiting for it to ship. You know, since it's like Thanksgiving time around that, you know, Black Friday time. A lot of people place orders. So we just got to wait. Got to be patient. I'm hoping I get it before Christmas. And that's like the latest I want to get it, hopefully. So, yeah. If you guys enjoy, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. We don't do favoriting anymore on YouTube. Wow, I sound old. 
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah. If you guys stay to the end of the video, comment Z01 add-on in the comments. And I'll know that you stayed to the end of the video. But yeah, peace out. Thank you.